live in. You know it does not fit what we were promised. A life without pain, clean city centers, and order to the world that made sense. But now, the zoo is run by the animals, and they're content to smear the walls. Do not adjust. Do not change. For now, you walk the bonded stair. It's a dumb name too because the bonded stare just doesn't sound right. The bonded stare makes it sound like it just doesn't sound good because it's like it's not an actual thing. So you're walking a stair, which is weird because you see stuff. Not unless it's a staircase, which then it still doesn't really make sense because why are we going up or down steps? We're just walking around then. It's a bad name, uh, but they're just really pushing propaganda, so I guess it doesn't matter. It still has two days left. We should have brought it down the other day when it wasn't all the way up here because now, now it's full. An advanced laser set would be good. Frag grenade and plat. I'm only gonna use the plasma grenade, but I think, I think I want to get that laser sight first because we don't have any weapon mods for it, and it's harder to get good weapon mods than it is to get grenades because you can just buy the grenades later on. So I'm gonna go for this one. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Batman. We're back in XCOM Chimera Squad. We're still continuing this thing where we're trying to finish the games from before summer break. Should I freeze that district too? I think I'm gonna freeze it also. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna go right back to where it was. I can only bring our anarchy down by one at this time, so I should go ahead and do that now. One if rank two field teams are present. First city anarchy by one plus one if rank two plus two if rank three field teams are present in every district. Yes, yeah, so I can only bring it down by one right now, so I'll go ahead and do that. I right, received a tip about the makeshift power core in the hands of our our opposition. It's stable, so you're clear to destroy it. Let's see. I think this is the same team we we're using last time, so there shouldn't be much to change. Doesn't look like there is. And then we're saving up to get the assault rifles now too. Only two encounters projected here, so we should be fine. Hopefully not getting more scars. I just finished my own personal playthrough that I started before. Ended that with five scars total. I think we're already at like seven or eight in this playthrough. So we're not doing great overall compared to the last one. We are playing on a higher difficulty. So it should be fine, I think. Successful shots will crit. Drop I wonder if this up. one applies to Zephyr. I've never actually paid attention to it. Let's go for the lowest one and use this Lancer shot. That way we're doing more damage than we would to, would otherwise, especially to someone who uh probably wouldn't take that much anyways. So they said we can use her to take that person out because she has the lowest aim. And you're just gonna go for them, I guess. We can use poison spit on them up top. And go ahead and take them out. And Zephyr's, yeah, probably gonna take them out too. It looks like she does get that critical bonus from the uh from the moves of from the breach point. Up. Okay. And we don't have sight on anything else. I could just move up to here. Now that puts us open to the number five, dude. This puts us open. I don't know. I don't, that leaves me open to the number two, so I probably should have went somewhere else instead. But it does put him in Overwatch, so as soon as they take a step, he's gonna shoot. So at least they take a little bit of damage from this and not just getting a clean shot on him. Tracking target weapon. He also stopped out in the open. I do believe we have a free reload with with him. Do we do damage at the end of the clip? I don't think so. Smashing extremity. All right, so he's done for pretty much the rest of this fight, honestly. There's only two enemies here. It's pretty early on, which is a massive switch. I literally just played the final mission. 
uh of the game on my own playthrough so if we move tongue pool can we also bind because that's something that i've been looking into trying but i haven't uh Stop to think about it. I think you can because every time you tongue pull on the last move, yeah. All right. Don't struggle. I should get the thing where um, when she does that, it doesn't kill them. It just knocks them out. That way we can take them as hostages to interrogate to get more intel later. And see to land this shot. Let's put terminal first. Uh, terminal has a replenish now. And let's put hollow scan terminal can use that and zephyr can come last also with the medi patch can't remember how much damage we took so we might as well heal it all the way up especially since this is our last breach point use everything we have to be as in in as best shape as we can be although it doesn't look like zephyr actually needed to use it so i guess we're fine Okay. This is a real easy mission so far. I oh, got a defender. I forgot about them almost. And there he's alert, so he's probably gonna drop that shield for everybody too. And now they're shrouded. So we got a lot of stuff to deal with now coming from them. And these alert enemies too. But I saw well if I had the ability to go for him, I probably would have aimed at him more That's so the than target. the turret that was finna shoot. We have a 71% chance to hit there. Remember the thing that we're supposed to be breaking too, right? Throwing grenade. This will do damage to the thing that we're going for as well as the dude who's standing right next to it. And I don't think we can apply an acid burn to this target, but it's still nice to have tried at least. And you're immune to poison. I'm trying to get it to where she's standing in poison. That way she's going to heal whatever damage she might take. Yeah, okay. Should have squeezed you unconscious. She might end up doing this still, though. Bobbed when I should have weaved. Because I'm Know very likely going to just bind right here or someone in this area if uh, nobody moves. For that. Don't play it down if it's bad. Yeah, she's just going to heal off this poison the entire time. Ooh. I get it? Yeah, I can. All right, cool. A who is in the way? That's shitty. Damn, I kind of want to do it anyways, though. But whatever. I guess I won't hurt my own team like that. Let's go for a dead eye shot here. Miss. I think I need more practice. I think you're fine. Wow, that's a big miss. Let's go for just the normal shot here. I probably should have aimed for the number three person since they're right next to the uh terminal and probably gonna deal some damage to her now. But it looks like terminal's gonna heal after every time she's standing in this poison. Knocked a few scales off. Don't know why I went over to there. Push oh, because the of where my map was. Or my mouse was not my map. Oops. I was trying to switch over and do the uh Remember your training. The healing for so I can heal terminal, but I hit the wrong Disabling button. Target it's my terminal weapon. torque. Alright, we can hit this point, hit this safely. Put you in parry. Cool. I'm out again. Is terminal still in the way? Yeah, because I didn't move her. I put Zephyr in the way too for that land shot now. If you tongue pull the number six, dude. 
Because I think I can still line up a land shot. And then bind the number six, dude. That'll take them all the way out. They put got poisoned to death, so now it's the trooper at number two. Still missed. Okay. These dead eye shots aren't hitting today. 75% here though. And are they poisoned? I don't think this one got poisoned. Oh, alright, cool. No. Heal Tort. Let the high tech spray do its work. And fire at the target. Not that. All right, never mind. You can't see the thing that we're here to shoot at. It looks like she would have an angle on it, though. There's no point in me taking this 44% shot. I move over to here so I have better cover from things, and I should be in a better position to shoot as well. Is there any way she can move without taking damage? It doesn't look like it. Oh, right here. Okay. Target down for good. Oh, we have uh, an onslaught occurring now, so we just have to defend for a little bit, which shouldn't be too bad. Didn't think that was gonna explode like that. I thought it was. I thought it was just sitting there. You should have ducked. Uh, that almost killed Tork. That would have been tragic to have her die right at the very end from an explosion that I didn't notice was happening. I guess I'm glad she didn't die. Well, not I guess. I am glad she didn't die. Because now I have to deal with another scar. And we still have the scar on shelter as well. The one thing that hasn't changed about downtown is traffic. We need to run at least three elevated highways through the starport. Which won't happen for reasons of global security. 20 minutes to drive six blocks. City of the future, my ass. Instead of Bucktown, a local guide to City 31. Oh, we did get a promotion here. There's no extra, the no new scars. I think I'm going to go for the Lonely Herald. Prototype shotgun, though. We only have one shotgun used. That's Claymore. I think I'm still going to take it, though. Uh, We're putting her back into training for her last one. And then we're going to take out Shelter and put him on train. Or put him back. In put him into. No, we're going to put him back into. Actually, no, I'm going to take him out and put him in assembly and then put Claymore in. Uh, Spec Ops. That way, as soon as uh, as soon as Patrick is done, we can switch her out for Shelter. Uh, I want this Intel. I want this Intel now too, but I don't have Dragnet yet, so I guess I'll just have to wait on it. It's today, Friday, so we just got a bunch of Intel and stuff coming in. We have two level two security teams. We need more money too, because we're gonna spend some now. At the shop? Where's the shop at? Here it is. Go ahead and buy the advanced they are. I don't think I need any smoke bombs or anything like that right now. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on buying anything else because I don't see anything that I obviously need. I think I wanna go for the intel also. Yeah. An anonymous tip suggests that nondescript apartment. Nondescript apartment is its stash house connected to current investigations. 31PD requests reclamation backup for the planned raid. Thankfully, there is no opposition at the stash house. Still, 31PD is grateful for the assistance. The city's Andromedon sanctuary finally admitted the obvious. Rogue Andromedons joined a sacred coil. Stop them before their actions turn into a recruitment drive. All right. I forgot to do her promotion. Hybrid citizens surrounded Next Gen today in an impromptu protest regarding the fade. A Next Gen spokesperson had this to say. There is no secret cure for the fade. We're working as fast as we can, but we have to do this right. But with five confirmed deaths, those who suffer from the fade are far from reassured. People are dying. We are dying. Something has to give. More as the story develops. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. 
All right, so for for Terminal's uh, promotion, I took the other one, the one that I didn't take last time. And that's because I didn't use pin down that often. I rarely used it. I only used it like three or four times total. So I thought it best to try out the other thing, especially considering how much damage we've been taking overall throughout the playthrough. So if she goes down, she won't have to die. She'll be able to get herself back up after one turn of being in stasis, which is pretty good. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna need more money because we're close to unlocking these. <laughs> Once we unlock those, we'll be going for Gray Phoenix gear as well. Immediately for the uh oh, do I want gas grenade? Venom rounds at least. Cause we give the venom rounds to Torque, for example. Everything she shoots. I don't know if it's instantly gonna give her the bonus. Ooh, another epic shotgun. Or I can go for the food supply thing. Do I have time to do this now? I don't think so. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this mission. Send Reclamation's it. primary goal is to recover dangerous material from those who do the world harm. On occasion, that means confiscating a powerful weapon from someone willing to use it against you. Yeah, okay. How many med kits do we have? She has a med kit and shrink rounds. You don't have a med kit. You do have a med kit. For now, it might be good to get an extra one. So I'm going to buy that. Uh, and in the next episode, we'll be doing that um, that story mission. I'm going to wait on it because I want to get this epic shotgun just so we can have a few in the bank just in case we get. I think Godmother is going to be the one that I want to get. Although I don't want to give her that. I like her with her normal shotgun. Give that one to Zephyr. That way, everyone but Torque, or all but one person can have a uh, nano med kit. So we should have a lot of healing going around, especially with Terminal on the team too, with her gremlin healing everything as well. Informant tipped us off. Special weapon at this location. We're definitely gonna use this. Would have been better if we had Claymore on it, but it doesn't matter. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised, and it's less damage, and then we won't be marked for the encounter either. Because if we were marked for the encounter, that'd be the whole turn. Terminal, then Zephyr. One Zephyr before Terminal. That's so she's earlier in the turn order. What's this? Is nothing marked? You're this close and you are marked. Just run up to that thing. And you can go for yeah, that code rose. What I was gonna say. Only a graze, but she still did, she still did two damage. Maybe getting the stock for a terminal wouldn't be too bad either. Target spotted. Uh, acid splash. Obviously, they all gonna group up like this. I'm gonna drop grenades on them. get this one way over there too no, i cannot can't drop Throw it on the grenade. cobra though and now i'm gonna tongue pull the number two unit time for a face to face go ahead and bind them and take them out of the turn order putting the squeeze on and then that leaves only the number two who is over here to the right. Yeah. Target They're in a pretty good position to hit us. That stinks. I want to see if blue blood can get his land shot off from here at a good angle to hit at least two. Yeah, we have an angle right here at hitting two people. Light it up. So it's definitely going to kill that Cobra because I know it does four damage. Oh, never Still mind. Still definitely killed, but not that did, that did way more than I thought it would. He's immune to the poison, so that's an issue. And she's Another on fire now. For my collection. Don't die, I guess. We're just gonna run up and punch him back, though. Target out of play. And can we rush across to somewhere else? Might be better to just use parry, but it doesn't look like we can right now for some reason. So I'll get into cover over here. 
and hopefully this won't be too much for too close or at least enough cover to keep us safe from them first thing we can do is heal her because that'll get rid of the burning effect too so she won't be constantly taking damage she'll be fine hmm yeah, I guess we might as well take this shot. That is the target that we're here for, too. I didn't think she was going to hit that one, especially with the 53% chance. Her eyes look real creepy in that little still that had right at the end of her attack, too. Missed me. Interesting. There's never enough ammo. Oh, is that a dash? I didn't mean to dash. Acid burn. Oh, do I have acid grenades and not poison grenades? That I'm doing wrong. That's how I think I'm doing that. Cool. And she's immediately gonna pick that up. And it's still your turn. You only use one thing. I was overwatch this area since it's glitching out. I was doing it as, as if it was Zephyr's shot. turn. Hmm. Use team up on Torque. Then we'll just have her use preparation because there's I'm no out. nothing Again. she can do over here besides run through the acid and deal a little bit of damage. Torque can use tongue pull on the enemy right in front of her. Hello? Is this poison? This gotta be poison, because I know this is from her spit. Watch me move. Now you can tongue pull the enemy. You come here. Terrible angle for this. And then you can use bind. Or should Don't end the encounter too, since they won't be able to they can't get out of this bind by themselves. So just gonna rotate through all the turns and that's sustain the bind. Which I guess the, the game figures is why it just jumps through everything. shops selling the kinds of things that don't matter anymore. Admin converted it to a housing to housing during the occupation, but the city council decided to put a modern spin on an old idea. Check it out if you need old world memorabilia, set toward cable and five kinds of pants on short notice. Stand of Bucktown local guide to City 31. Ooh, the city and anarchy went up to two. I don't know why. Oh, do we have two different locations that just went full? Without evidence that the fade was manufactured in City 31, the assertion that Next Gen created the disease was convincing to some residents. Everything they say makes sense. With the gene therapy clinic shut down, we're as good as dead. Next Gen issued a firm denial and urged those affected to see a medical professional. Sudden weight loss, thirst, loss of appetite. The sooner you seek treatment, the better. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. Yeah, we're not. I'm not managing the unrest in this city very well right now. Um, but I don't know why that one went up to being like that since we just did a mission in this location, I believe. Um, so that's weird. So I guess in the next episode, I'll be handling this outbreak. But for now, uh, I'll just see you on the next one. I'm probably going to record it right now. Don't forget to follow all the socials in the description. Bye.